YouTube, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Minecraft Skyblock series. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. And if you guys are new here, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If you did not know, we are doing a four month challenge where your boy has to upload daily. This is day two. And for those of you joining the vids every single day, being a part of this, making this part of your daily routine, just want to say I love you guys. You guys are the best. But that's it, Nation. We are here back with another episode on Play.pvp net the best minecraft skyblock server and we have made a lot of progress today we actually got a lot of things we need to do the big big farm is going to be finally created for our island which is going to be epic but before we get into that guys i just want to let you know we're doing a massive giveaway on today's episode i am giving away a walker loot box on today's video or a thousand clouds i'll give you guys a thousand clouds so if you guys want to enter the giveaway all you guys have to do is just leave a like subscribe comment down below your username or ign and also for you guys uh because you guys have just been absolutely crushing it you guys have been loving the videos loving the server uh, i went ahead and put, pasted a special code for three 50 off coupons down below in the comment section it'll be in like the pinned comment so yeah make sure you guys grab that if you're checking out something on the store and speaking about the store every single video i like to shout out someone who recently purchased something and then whoever's the most recent person to purchase something i basically take whatever they got and double it so like let's say you bought dragon rank uh that i think costs dragon rank costs a thousand clouds so i would go ahead and give you an additional thousand clouds to your account so let me go ahead and check who the most recent person is and the most recent person person to purchase something is zskt shout out zskt absolute legend uh, I went ahead and added the clouds to your account. Thank you so much, Goat. You are a legend. And if you guys want to be the next daily double winner, go ahead and check out something on the store. Uh, if you guys want to help support the server, you know, we got some big things coming. Would appreciate it. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time to dive in because today, like I said, we got some big things cooking. If we take a look right now, we are IS top 14. And my goal is by the end of today's episode, uh, we are no longer IS top 14. We're going to crack the top 10 today. And you might notice in my balance right here, if we take a look, I got 7.1 trillion dollars right now that's about 710 billion dollars of worth and like just for reference like just so we have it like right now is top 10 is 438 we have 257 mil so we should theoretically get to like 956 so we should be like is top nine by the end of today's episode if i'm not mistaken like if i'm doing my math correctly we should be one of the top islands hopefully and that will be really really good and we also got a ton of tokens because we're gonna be doing some upgrades to our mob sword because we're gonna be building one of the biggest mob farms today so if i show it go ahead and show you guys real quickly let me just show you what we are currently working with right now on my island let me go ahead and find the mob farm real quick and you guys can actually go ahead and visit our island again my island is public i have public mob farms right here that you guys can all grind at you just do is visit dazzler yt make sure the a is a four but these are our current mob farms you know it's decent it's nothing crazy you know it's a pretty basic farm uh, especially with our mob sword i mean mob smasher is super op looting we got looting three out of ten like this we make a lot of money right now with this okay like this is you make pretty good money right now but this farm is not efficient enough if i do slash top right here we have two farms set up and it's just like super inefficient i mean you guys see right here i mean literally like i don't even know what this is like <laughs> i don't know why we have two farms right here i don't know why it's set up like this but that is going to change today ladies and gentlemen because we are going to be building a mega farm and by mega farm i mean it's going to be like a, a simple like nine trunk farm it's just we need to get like a basic farm built right now and so that's exactly what we're going to be doing, okay? And if I take a look at IS Visit, or what is it, IS Warps, I don't think there's like some islands that have um, public farms that we need to build. And again, it's nothing complicated or crazy. It's just we need to get a better farm made because one, all of our mobs are spread out. And if you guys didn't know with the mob sword, when you're grinding mobs, and I'll actually show you guys it real quick. When you're grinding mobs, you're actually able to kill multiple at a time. So if you guys like look right up here, like where all their numbers are, like I'm going to hit just the Zoglin right here, but you're going to notice all the other mobs are going to go down so theoretically if we hit more mobs on the server right now if i hit more of them the more mobs in the little area then the more we will be able to kill so it'll work super super well this is kind of like the ideal scenario right now let's just have all our mobs be one giant farm and i don't know how i'm gonna make the farm i don't know if i'm gonna do a little drop down like this or if we're gonna do like a little like room like a little grinding room or something i don't really know we'll figure it out but i do need to get that made right now okay and, and i want to surprise my island with it work on a super big farm for them um so yeah right now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna like get the basics going i'm gonna build out pretty much everything and i'll kind of show you guys the progress
progress as we go through it. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty simple farm design. It's nothing crazy. Um, and But it's going to make us a lot more money. This is going to increase how much money we make a ton. And then we're going to spend $7 trillion on new spawners for this farm. So it'll be super, super worth it. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get out of this area, build a new farm, and hopefully can make us a lot of money. All right, guys. So after going ahead, we went ahead and built ourselves a little bit of a nine, or I believe this is like a nine chunk farm. Let me go ahead and turn off the chunk borders real quick. Basically, the way it works, it's a very, very simple farm design right here. So the block I recommend you guys go to use for like the base is the like is packed ice. And the reason for that is because mobs travel quicker on packed ice. Uh, if you were to do like any other block, it wouldn't travel as efficiently. Like right here, as you guys see, uh, we have like re regular course right here. Mobs would not travel as quick, but we have packed ice near the center because that's where all the spawners are and uh, they'll travel just quicker. Again, it's a slight optimization thing. That's why I went ahead and did it. Um, and then you went ahead and built a little area for all the spawners. Okay. And basically the way it works is this is a chunk. This is a chunk. This is a chunk. This is a chunk. And then on the outer rim, this is a chunk. 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 And then same thing for over there. So we basically are covering, what is that? Like three, six, nine, 12. Uh, and then what is that? 16 chunk farm right here. It's a 16 chunk farm. But the reason I like this design so much is because it is super expandable. And I'll, I mean, obviously in a future episode, we'll probably have to expand this farm. But basically the premise of what I mean by this is I can just keep on expanding out horizontally uh, and adding more spawners when we get filled. Now, I don't think we're going to get filled with spawners anytime soon. I honestly don't even know if we're going to fill, fill this middle area up right now. Because if I'm not mistaken, the max amount of spawners you can have per thing, I think I want to say is like a thousand. And I feel like, I mean, we have like, yeah, like 981 silverfish. Let me actually check real quick. We're gonna have to buy silverfish anyways. Let's just, let me go ahead and buy like a stack real quick. Can I deposit? Oh no, I can. So I don't, I don't really know what the max stack size is. Um, we'll figure that out here shortly. But now's the fun part, ladies and gentlemen, where we have to basically take uh, all those spawners from over there and put them into here. Now I know that is a public farm over there and we will go ahead. We're gonna put more spawners in the public farm. It's just right now for the sake of the video, I wanna go ahead and fill this farm with everything. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead. I'm just gonna place these everywhere and again we are gonna be able to place silverfish in each chunk so as you guys see right there like silverfish are in each chunk right there make sure when you guys are building your farms like this place down even if it's just like one silverfish spawner in the chunk because then it'll be a lot easier for you to go ahead and like expand this farm in the future actually if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure yeah i could do silverfish eat every single one of these quadrants right here so that's basically what i'm doing right now it actually should work out perfectly if i'm not mistaken yeah we literally had just enough right there to go ahead and do that so yeah there we go and as you guys see, the silverfish comes down here. It's going to go there. And then we're going to be able to grind it. And I'll talk about the grinding process here in a second because there's a way to optimize it. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and transfer all that. And I actually wanted to real quickly open a walker loot box right here just to see if we win any spawners. Let's see if our luck is good. Maybe win some more silverfish spawners. Who knows? Hey, we got 150 polar bear. We will happily go ahead and take that right there. Boom. There we go. I'm really happy we got that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move all these spawners over there. And then um, we're also going to buy like $7 trillion worth of spawners. It's going to be expensive and uh yeah we'll be right back all right guys so i went ahead we went and grinded for a little right there um if i go ahead real quickly i went ahead and just placed a lot of the lower tier spawners not lower tier just like not the super high tier spawners basically uh polar bear and up this bottom row of spawners i went ahead those are in the main farm the rest of these it just doesn't really make sense like their their sell value just really isn't that good like these are like in the thousands right here and then this is like 585 so it just doesn't really make sense for us to put these like other spawners in here so this this farm is still filled with a ton of spawners. I even have piglins in there right now because I'm trying to figure out how I want to incorporate piglins. But then right here, this is the big boy farms right here. This is what we want to see. And this is what's going to make us a lot of money on the server. Okay, this is perfect because this is going to basically allow us just to go ahead and get as many of these best spawners as possible this weekend there'll be an update and there'll be other op spawners and we'll be able to use that and i was actually doing the math and if we actually take a look at mob drops so pig the reason why i'm kind of like not as much interested in piglins anymore is because if we take a look at silverfish egg those sell for 4100 bucks golden treasure sells for only 500 more but look at the price difference. Piglins sell for, or you have to buy them for 10 bill. Silverfish is a third of the price. So right now, if I'm not mistaken, silverfish spawners are actually like the best spawners on the server. And that's why right now our main priority is just 100% loading up on silverfish spawners. Like that is like my number one priority. I, the new update this weekend, there like it will be a new spawner. But as of right now, bro, silverfish are so OP on the server. Like they just like make the most money easily. Now this is just what we're going to focus on. And we got seven trillion right now we could buy what is that three stacks or th like 918 we could buy 27 stacks 
of silverfish spawners right now. That's insane. And that's what we're doing right now. Here we go. Boom. And I think we can buy, we could actually probably buy some more right now. Let me just see. I, I got to do some math in my head. Pretty sure we could buy like, what is that? Like 30 more? I feel like we could buy like 30 more. We could buy another stacker. I, I don't even know. Basically, we could buy a lot of these and that's really, really dope. Okay. So I think we have enough silverfish spawners right now. I could buy a little bit more. We'll do that here in a second. But we just spent $7 trillion on this farm right here, ladies and gentlemen. So this thing, this thing better be OP. Because if not, it's going to be kind of a disappointment. And mind you, we technically already did place, I think, like a stack of silverfish or something. But right now we are at $270 billion of worth right now. I'm really, really hoping that we can max this out. I don't really know where like most of our silverfish are. I think they're just like all evenly spread out. So we're just going to load up like the center area with this. So let me just go ahead and place all these. It's really, really simple and easy to do that right there. Boom. Here we go. Oh my gosh, bro. I don't know though if we're going to get to the correct value that we are looking for right now. Yeah, I don't think, I feel like we're not getting as much value as I thought we would, but hey, it's okay. Maybe I did my math wrong. I actually, now that I think about it, I think I did do my math wrong, but we are moving up on island top. That's all that matters right now. I told you guys the main goal in this video, we are highest top 10. We finally cracked the top 10. Now, are we going to crack like inside the top 10? Let's find out. Oh my gosh. Are we literally like, what's it? We're at $496 billion right now. Uh, okay. Yeah. We still have a little bit of a way to go. What is that? Like three, 200 trill? That's not your 200 build. That's actually not even that bad. $200 billion. I feel like another grind session, just watching some like Hulu, watching like the flash or something. Uh, I feel like this would work. I feel like this could make us a lot of money. Now, the only thing is that is interesting with this that we need to actually work on is the actual grinding area right here. If I'm not mistaken, I actually think I need to go ahead and actually mine the uh, right underneath here. Okay. We got to mine this. I got to place some blocks down there. And you know, just for the sake of the video, we'll just use emerald blocks. Okay. Why not? But if I'm not mistaken, basically, the most optimal way to grind mobs on the server are actually by like hitting them through ender chests. I don't know why. I don't know what the meta behind this is. I just know a lot of people on the server do this. I don't know why. I think it has something to do with token fragments. Like I think you get more fragments while grinding when you do this. I don't know how or why it works. If someone has an explanation on the server on how this works, uh, please let me know. Would be very curious. But let me go ahead. Let me grab my auto clicker real quick. I just want to see like how much we make right now because this is going to be kind of OP. We just want to do a little grind session right now actually let me go ahead and put on all my sets right now we'll put on our money set right here we'll go ahead and put on our money pet where's our money pet money pet right there and then do we have anything for we could boost our combat skill xp i guess i guess we could or we could boost tool actually no yeah let's just do combat xp why not and then i am gonna pop a booster real quickly let me just see do we have like an hour okay we do pop that hour boost right there and i'm actually gonna also go ahead and pop a global uh money booster as well and just i just want to see how much money we make right now from all this let me check the boosters real quickly yeah we got the global money and then we have the uh global server okay let me go ahead and get my auto clicker real quick i just want to see how much we're making okay so if we go ahead and pop the money booster right here oh my gosh bro the amount of money we make is insane and let me actually real quickly turn off the volume right here just because uh we don't need it to be that loud and yeah gonna go to auto sell right here okay here we go I'm just going to let this, I want to ideally hit the silverfish. The silverfish are the OP money-making method right here. And I'm just curious how much we're going to make. We got mob stacker. We got all that other stuff going on right now. Let's just go in and see. I mean, we're hitting all these mobs. We're, we're farming these mobs, bro. Yeah, bro. We got to be making a crazy amount of money right now, bro. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, we are absolutely, we honestly aren't even getting enough mobs low key. Yeah, we're honestly, bro, we need we need more mobs. <laughs> we're not getting enough mob spawn, and that's kind of unfortunate, bro. We're, we're running through this, but yeah, I mean, this is insane. I, 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 yeah, we don't even have enough mobs right now to go ahead and properly hit all these, which kind of sucks, kind of unfortunate. But like, hey, we'll take what we could get right here. I mean, look how quickly we're going through 5,000 silverfish. It's because of the mob stacker enchant. It's super OP, but that's exactly why we have that enchant is because of how OP it is. Let me just go ahead. I'm just going to keep going here combat level is going up silverfish i mean dude we are hitting we are grinding this i just want to see what like our our minute summary is right now and again this is not even like consistently having mobs to grind like imagine this was like an infinite farm bro the amount of money we could make would be absolutely ridiculous yeah this is insane we definitely need to get more silverfish spawners those are getting us like right now we're at 158 bill watch what happens yeah, dude, yeah, we make so much money from silverfish. Silverfish is definitely the meta on the server. I mean, 7,000 silverfish, boom, gone, just like that. Look how quickly we're grinding that, bro. But we again, we need to get more silverfish spawners in here to make it worth it, to make it OP. 
because at the moment uh we just are absolutely mild smashers is absolutely running silverfish it's not even like a competition but yeah dude we are dude wow i'm surprised we haven't gotten the minute summary yet right here um okay boom right there so about a minute it says we made 100 bill i feel like we made a lot more than that i think that's like we made 100 bill from our mob sword but then when you apply all the boosters the money pet the sets and all that uh, i'm pretty sure we made like 175 bill right there which is so we basically made two times our uh, money right here which is just insane that's absolutely ridiculous the amount of money we're making right now and we seem to keep getting more silverfish spawners like that that's really the, that's really all it comes down to we need to get more silverfish spawners and obviously it's not cheap to do that but like hey we need to figure out whatever we need to do to get that because yeah the silverfish are so op bro the amount of money we could get is insane um and if you take a look at is top honestly bro if i just like sit here i watch some youtube or again the flash or something i mean no, no, nothing stopping us bro we're gonna fly through this i honestly think we're gonna be is top nine definitely by the next episode and we might start pushing for these top ones it's just i need to get a lot more people on our we need to get this farm more filled out now we do have a lot of tokens right now i think what we're gonna go ahead and do i, I keep wanting to upgrade it slowly each episode it costs a lot but like the looting enchant is so op that literally is gonna basically make it so we can get more loot like we literally just right there by doing that we now are gonna get four drops for every single one of these instead of uh instead of uh, doing like right here if i kill the spider spawner boom we're getting four now we're getting four we just multiplied how much we earned by four <laughs> so that in itself is really really op and obviously can make you a lot of money and I i'm honestly tempted to spend another 200 bill on it but like again i still want to max out our mob smasher and we can max it out so this is it ladies and gentlemen this episode we are going to be able to max out mob smasher boom there we go we've purchased six levels of mob smasher and if we take a look, Mob Smasher, 25 out of 25. So that is really good. That means basically all the other tokens we can make are going to be invested into looting and turbo. Because in the last episode, we maxed out all the token earning and chance, token bonus, token boost, uh boost party and all that basically our, our harvester hoe can make the most amount of tokens as it can and that's the easiest and best way to make tokens but now our mob sword the main goal is to max out looting and turbo because turbo if you guys don't know what that does that increases the proc rate of the enchants on our sword so mob smasher will pop more frequently but honestly it already procs a ton i probably low-key should get a candy finder enchant to find his pet candies because our, our pets are low-key really low level for some reason uh and getting pet candy would make our life a lot easier uh but yeah turbo i think i'm just gonna low-key dump like 80 bill in the turbo right now just to go ahead and try to max out that enchant a little bit easier but yeah overall very very happy with where we're at right now like watch how easily like i'll go ahead and hit kill these silverfish right here i guarantee bro our mob smasher oh wait oh no i just messed up chat i just messed up oh my gosh chat i i, I think i messed up really bad right there because uh right now I, I have my auto clicker on oh boys oh boys i forgot to have auto sell on okay let me go ahead and grind this right here let's just see 86 dude it just killed 50,000 mobs it just killed 50,000 mobs mobs right there bro that's insane bro yeah we need a lot more silver fish in order for this farm to be efficient that's crazy that's crazy we are able to make that much money but um yeah i'm really happy for it pretty happy with this farm i'm glad we went ahead and upgraded to it and again we'll be able to make a lot more um and it's really simple yeah i think i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken i do need to get ults on these spawners right here so that like because i don't think those spawners are spawning low key but i guess it's not too big of a deal right now we'll figure it out as we go on but guys we are gonna go ahead and wind off today's episode here on play club.net again guys make sure you come and check out the server we're having an absolute blast it's a ton of fun um and i know we're kind of near the end stages of this season let's just say next season is gonna be absolutely ridiculous we've been working so hard on it so i hope you guys are looking forward to it because it's gonna be an absolute blast but guys i will see you all in the next one here on play.pvpclaw.net and until then bye bye